Prince Harry, 35, will marry American fiancé Meghan Markle, 36, on May 19. The royal is reportedly planning a stag do in the Swiss ski resort of Verbier. Residents spotted royal protection officers in La Vache, a bar on the slopes. He is also said to be planning a combined stag hen with Ms. Markle at the polo. Like many busy grooms-to-be, Prince Harry is juggling a full-time job with wedding preparations ahead of the big day. But it appears the royal, 35, has still found time to plan his stag do, and he is heading off to the slopes. Harry is believed to be preparing to hold his stag party in the Swiss ski resort of Verbier, after royal protection officers were spotted in the upmarket bar La Vache. According to the Daily Star, Prince Andrew has offered his £13 million chalet hello to Harry and his stags. It is also thought that Harry and Meghan will throw a second more civilised stag hen party together at a polo match. A source told the paper that Harry's royal protection officers had been spotted in Verbier. I have just seen Harry's advanced close protection team come into La Vache for lunch. They are clearly on a recce, the source said. Quite a few of the staff recognized the royal protection officers who skied with Harry in 2016. Another insider added, Prince Andrew cleared the diary of Chalet Hlora as a gift from himself and the Duchess of York. The Bar La Vach is owned by Harry's friend and restaurateur Rob Sawyer, along with rugby star Lawrence Delagio, James Blunt and superbike champion Carl Fogarty. Friends expected to be attending the stag party include Guy Paley, Thomas Van Straubenzi and George Stoy. Verbier is an exclusive ski resort that is popular with members of the royal family and celebrities. Harry has visited the resort on a number of occasions in the past, while Prince William was also spotted partying in Verbier last year. Meanwhile, Prince Andrew and Fergie are frequent visitors to the resort, with their holiday home there. Harry and Meghan's next official engagement will be in Cardiff on Thursday, when they will visit the Welsh capital's historic castle. Kensington Palace has declined to comment.